Are y'all ready to talk about the first black woman to ever have her art acquired by the Museum of Modern Art? Hey y'all, my name is Jalen and this is Art in Color, a channel where I talk about contemporary artists of color. Today we're going to talk about Ming Smith, but before I get into it, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed so you can get notified when I post new videos. Now let's get into it. Ming Smith was born in 1947 in Detroit, Michigan, but actually grew up in Columbus, Ohio. She attended Howard University where she studied microbiology, uh, but actually ended up quickly moving to New York afterwards. There, she worked as a model and a photographer and became the first female member of the highly influential black photography collective, the Kamoenge Workshop. She's quoted as saying, once I was in Kamoenge, I learned about photography as an art form. It was profound for me. There was a language, a history, there was composition and tone, and they had favorite photographers. I took that information and went to do my own searching. Ming Smith is known for her informal, in-action portraits of black cultural figures in life. From Grace Jones to James Baldwin to strangers she met on the street during her extensive international travels, Ming Smith documented everything. Rather than simply documenting life, she captures the expressive, surreal quality of her subjects sometimes using odd angles or even shooting out of focus. Smith also experiments with post-production techniques, which uh, is basically just the work that happens after a photograph is taken, such as visual effects and editing. She's quoted as saying, the photographer's talent, the capacity to compose by following one's instincts. Also, the power of anticipation and the patience to wait for what's coming. In photography, you have to nail it the moment it's in the lens. Take the shot when you see it. After submitting her work to an open call for portfolios in 1975, Ming Smith became the first African-American female to have her work acquired by the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. Her work was included in their exhibitions Life in the City and Making Choices, but it wasn't until almost 35 years after her work was acquired into the collection that the momentousness of the work itself was recognized in MoMA's 2010 exhibition Pictures by Women, A History of Modern Photography. One of my personal favorite works of hers is a portrait of the writer James Baldwin. It's very blurry and has been imposed over a picture of Harlem's skyline, which emphasizes his place in the city as a writer and adds a mystical quality to his image. Besides the MoMA, Ming Smith's work is included in collections such as the Getty Museum, the Brooklyn Museum, the Schomburg Center, and the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts. She was also featured in the Traveling Soul of a Nation exhibition, which I took a tour of, and I'll include a link somewhere up here or over here. In November 2020, Ming Smith released her book, Ming Smith, an Aperture Monograph. She also has an upcoming show at the Contemporary Arts Museum of Houston if you're in town. As always, I'll provide some links below of useful videos, articles, interviews that I found while researching for this video. The question of the day is, who is your favorite photographer? Leave the comments below and I'll read through them and comment and stuff. That's all for today. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me so much. Until next time, goodbye!